One of the most interesting things about ML Move is it takes an inherent trait of how Transformers work, that is both why large language models have proven to be quite powerful, but equally is the reason they can often be quite frustrating. To summarise, Transformers are the neural network architecture that learns contextual relationships within the data that it's trained on, such that it can take an input and generate an output that is likely given their contextual relationship. We typically think of Transformers as language models such as GPT, Gemini and Claude, which learn relationships between words and their training data such that you can ask it a question in human language and it can generate an answer. Notably, it doesn't learn the meaning of the text, but rather how words and concepts relate to one another, and as such can generate answers that quite often make sense until they come under further scrutiny. This is why LLMs are prone to inconsistencies in simply making stuff up, what is typically referred to as hallucinating, because the LLM is simply predicting the next word it should write based on the input, the current state of the output, and what it learned from the training data. It doesn't understand what you asked, nor does it understand the answer it gave, it just predicts a sensible response. While this is frustrating with language models, this is actually a useful feature for ML Move, given it can pretend to move a team of NPCs around in a way that's reflective of how a human team of players might operate even if it isn't 100% accurate. To quote the ML Move research paper, In an FPS game, human players not only have a complex action space, but also demonstrate complex interplayer interaction and coordination that are quite challenging to model in a rule-based system. However, recent work in Transformer models show how to imitate the effect of complex human decisions and interactions without modeling the intermediate steps or decisions that led to the final actions. So by modeling the data of human players, it gets to the end result of their behavior, having observed thousands of instances, and while it doesn't understand why human players make that decision, it does give us an end product that is nonetheless quite convincing. 